Friday, and you know what that means? <laughs> of course you do. It's time for you to sit yourself down because we're about to meet some of the coolest kids of Malaysia. You know why? Because this is Kids Owners. <laughs> to another episode of Kids Zoners. We hope you're having a great weekend so far. In fact, if you're looking for a new hobby to do or a new sport to try, you've come to the right place because you never know how inspired you might get with the people that I get to meet, okay? Today, I'm having a chat with two schoolmates. They're from SK Taman Mega, and they're going to talk about their latest ventures in rhythmic gymnastics. And without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to invite Harshana and G. How are you ladies? I'm good. Good, good, good. Don't be nervous. This is just really casual household stuff. I mean, I know my house looks like a spaceship, but it's okay. So why don't you introduce yourself, please? I'm Jean and I'm 10 years old. I'm from SK Taman Mega. Hi everyone, my name is Harshana Kailesh Aru. I'm 10 years old and I'm from SK Taman Mega. So both of you are 10 years old. Are you classmates? No. no. You're not, so you're not classmates, but you are in the same club. What club is this? Caroline School of Rhythmic Gymnastics. I mean, I think it would be important for people to know how did you decide to start with gymnastics? I mean, why gymnastics? Gymnastics is not easy, is it? Harshana, what, what, what would you say? Like, why did you or how did you choose gymnastics? Um, so when I was four, I happened to watch a rhythmic gymnastics competition on TV mm -hmm. and I knew right away that was the perfect sport for me. Oh, okay. Was it because you like dancing? Yes. Okay, what about Eugene? It all started when I watched an Olympic show. Mm -hmm. And all the gymnasts that was dancing there inspired me. So I told my mom to enroll me okay. to gymnastics. So this is great. This is really, really good because you guys actually told your parents instead of the other way around when some parents are like, I want you to try gymnastics. And then you're like, no! It. So you really love it. Yes. yes. You both love dancing as well. I love it yes. a lot. Okay. Do you do you play any other sports? Yes, I do. I love swimming for recreational purpose only. Okay. How about Eugene? Sometimes I swim. Sometimes you swim. So swimmers, dancing, rhythmic gymnastics is definitely a sport to get you going. I'm telling you, when you grow up, you're gonna still be fit. Do you feel stressed practicing so much, or does it make you feel like free? I have stress when I can't do something. Mm -hmm. Then I need to keep trying until I get it. So that was the time I would become stressed. Okay, all right. How about you? Sometimes I do feel pressured when I can't make my routine mm -hmm. the way I want it to. Mm -hmm. So. All right, but you guys always have the right kind of support with your family and your friends. Yes. They got to make sure that no matter what, even though you want to practice, make per like practice makes perfect. Yeah. You're still kids. You guys got to relax a little bit. But I hear you are, you know, joining competitions. We're going to jump into that after this. What is it about rhythmic gymnastics that you both like? I like that it's a very unique sport mm -hmm. and, it, and the physical flexibility requires. Okay. I like gymnastics because it is fun and it makes us very elegant, especially with the apparatus. Oh yes, of course, the eleganza, extravaganza. You guys have the long neck thing going on, good posture. I am a tree like this. Whee! It's okay, I'm proud of myself anyways, but maybe you can teach me some gymnastics later on, right? Yeah, that might be a treat for you guys. Rhythmic gymnastics is a very, very beautiful thing because not only is it a dance, but you guys have those those things. What do you call it? The apparatus. Apparatus, that's right. So you guys, do you use any apparatuses like uh, ribbons or hoops or balls or the clubs for your performance? Yeah, we use all. 
all, all yeah. like, but you, in one performance, do you use all of it or is no, it usually? No, like one, one performance for one apparatus. Right on, right on. So which is your favourite apparatus? My favourite is ball because they have all my favourite ADs. Okay, how about you, Harshada? My favourite apparatus is the ribbon because it's very graceful. Oh, very nice. Yes, of course, the waving of the ribbon and everything. We know that it also takes a lot of practice to be able to do this sort of stuff. And it is evident that you guys have practiced so much because you will be representing Selangor in MSSD 2020. So congratulations. We're all looking forward to it. Um, have you competed before this? We have competed before, but due to the MCO, we can compete this year. I see, I see. Okay, but so before this, it was all in national level. Yes. yes. And the two of you are a team together. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very, very nice. Well, you know what? We all wish you the best of luck for sure because, I mean, I think we foresee you guys to have like the brightest future ever. Do you have any idols that you look up to? I look up to Dina Everina and Irina Everina. They're sisters, right? Yeah, they're twins. Wow, wow, very, very nice. They are from? They are from Russia. They're from Russia, okay. How about you, Dalek? My favourite idol is Margarita Mamun mm -hmm. because her life story is very inspiring and she's an Olympic gold medalist. How old is she? I have no idea. <laughs> is she much older than you are? Yes. Okay, all right. So this is like a story from like back in the day and she was a gymnast. That is very, very interesting. But like, you know, I know this is something that is so simple to ask because normally when you do what you do right now and the fact that you do it and um, in, you compete, this is basically a career for you. But do you, is there anything else you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I want to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. For part-time, I'm going to be a gymnastic coach. Well done! I want to be a marine biologist when I grow up and a part-time rhythmic gymnastics coach. Fantastic. I suppose at this point of time, you know, normally I ask the kids that I see um, what they get up to during the MCO period because now we have to try to stay, stay as safe as possible because we want to avoid from getting infected by the COVID-19 virus. So how do you stay fit at home? Uh, exercise every day. Oh, what kind of exercise do you do? Uh, maybe yoga or some jogging every night. 10 years old can do yoga, is it? I, I, I started yoga only like a year ago. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I do yoga, but sometimes I don't. Okay, all right. I have to agree with Jean on exercising every day, mm -hmm. how we keep fit. Mm -hmm. And basically, the exercise, the, the exercise that I do is um, leg exercise okay. and ab exercises. Yeah. Legs exercises and abs exercises. I have an ab. It's a flab, <laughs> basically. Okay. <laughs> all right, so last question for you girls. If you, well, say a lot of people will be watching this and say there's a young girl or young boy who wants to be a rhythmic gymnast, yeah. what advice would you give them, Hashana? Pursue whatever you love doing the most and don't ever quit. It will come a time when you feel like quitting because you feel demotivated, but that's just the passing stage. Fantastic. Jean, what about you? I want them seeing this to be focused and be confident when they are when they want to achieve their dreams. Oh, so nice. I love that. It's such a wonderful thing to be able to hear at anyone at any age support other people as well. Tender age of 10, this is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing me all of these things. But now it's time for us to challenge you. I mean, you guys did say you wanted to be part-time coaches when you grew up. Yeah. Do you want your first student? Yes. Okay, yeah. all right, so here's what's gonna happen. They're gonna teach me a couple of moves. Don't blame me if I'm a bad student, yeah? I mean, you know, I try, I will try, but this is gonna be really exciting. Let's do this! And voila, here we are. The girls are in their very gorgeous outfits. I am in my very gorgeous hairdo. I'm so ready for them to show me what they've got. Basically, since they've already said earlier that they want to be part-time coaches when they grow up, they're gonna practice on me, their first ever student. And let's see how they do. Okay, so. Uh, Hashara is going to give the verbal instructions and, and then after that, Jean is going to demonstrate and I will follow her. So, all right, take it away, boss. <laughs> okay, we are going to start with a middle split. So, please look at Jean. And, 
and then I'm here. <laughs> Yay! Exactly the same. This is exactly the same. <laughs> All right, what next? <laughs> All right, now let's move on to back flexibility. Okay. So you're going Ooh. to arch your back. Okay. All right. And now you're going to let your toes touch your head. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Right? I can, I can, I can. You can do it! <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do! I'm a bird, guys! I'm doing it! I'm doing it the best I could! Alright, thank you very much, guys! I'm gonna I'm gonna stay right here. You guys can uh I might have hurt my back somewhere somehow, but okay. Bye everybody! <laughs> Bye! Okay, I'm like really, really exhausted from all of this. I'm super, super exhausted from all of this. This is like absolutely tiring, but because of this, you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Therefore, we want to give you a little bit of a present from all of us at Kids Zoners. So uh, with your help, I need to call my friend Eden, okay? All right, on a count of three, let's count. One, two, three. Eden! Hello, Eden. How are you, my friend? Very good to see you. La. Okay, so girls, you guys will have each a Kids Owners t-shirt. Don't worry, you can share, yeah? I mean, you're not like not sharing. You're, don't worry, don't worry. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> all right, well, thank you so much for being here today. It's been an absolute pleasure. And from all of us at Kids Owners, we want to say have a happy weekend. Bye! Bye!